Hey, what is up, YouTube? Mr. Bill Bomber coming to you guys here with another uh, Minecraft showcase. Uh, I know it's been a long time since my last one, but I've actually been working on something for a while. And I figured I'd just come to you guys and uh, show it to you guys. So, I've named it my adventure map because in time I do hope to make this uh, a decent adventure map. And this is the first city in the map that I've been working on. And this is all me, so it's it's not a whole it's not a whole lot. But uh, I uh, put quite a bit of time into this, so uh, let's just get started. I'm going to be calling this city Berinthia, I believe. It's got sort of this snowy theme. I, I just really like to build in snowy regions. I just like the look of it. So as you can see here, we come out from this forest. We've got a bridge that leads straight to the town. I've got roads that I've yet to build because I have plans for this area out here that I would rather wait to build the road before I... Uh, before I get into that so I can build things out here. But out here we have the main wall. Obviously this is going to wrap around the entire city eventually, but I'd rather get all the buildings built and everything before I try to wrap it around and then realize I don't have enough space for anything else. So as you can see here, this is basically the design of the wall. Uh, every little uh, like three by th uh, three like space here is eventually gonna be filled in to look like this. But like I said, I don't really want to finish the wall just yet until I have time to just like wrap it around the whole city. But uh, as you can see here, this is the basic design. We've got the basic uh, like wall up here and then sort of just like this roofing going on above. And then uh, once you enter the city through the front gate, you'll notice that I've got a fort right here. Just a basic little fort. Didn't really take me a whole lot of time to build. But I thought it looked kind of neat, and every city needs a fort, like, right next to the gate. Uh, I named it Fort Caster. As you can see here, we've got, like, an archery sort of range here. Uh, you go down here, and we've got the uh, the barracks. Just kind of built in right there into the wall. And then you come up here, and we've got, like, your basic training grounds, like uh, dummies here to hit. And then you can come up here and just kind of walk around the wall give you just get a little uh, view of the city from up here not a very tall view but um, like I said this uh, this little fort right here just added a little bit of a uh, taste to the city I guess you can say and I thought it looked kind of neat so I went ahead and stuck with the design uh, right across from the fort over here we have a tavern the chipped pint you come in here just a tiny little tavern here uh, there's the bar uh, taps here come back out here I'll give you like a brief overview of the of the building here and then you come right over here and we have a market stall area just sort of a basic uh, little market area for people to just come and spend their hard-earned gold or emeralds in this case I guess you would say uh, come in here we've got market stalls um, We've got a sweet stalls, fish stalls, little fountain here, um, vegetable stalls and fruit stalls. And then you walk down the road a little ways and uh, I've got sort of, as you can see, I've been kind of going for the medieval feel for this, so it looks kind of Nordic. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos on Minecraft, you kind of know that I like the Nordic style of building, so I like to look at, uh, make it look a bit medieval. So, as you can see here, we've got another tavern, or a mead hall, I guess you could say, not as much of a tavern. And then you come in here, look around, we've got a long table, a little uh, fire pit there, and then obviously your actual bar. And I am, like, I'm planning to make a lot of quests for this map, like, that you could just hop in and do quests if you wanted to. I only have a few set up right now, like, uh... Obviously, here's the beds and stuff. Um, hold on, let me find it. In this chest, I believe there's a book, yeah. Uh, cave Cellar in or Cellar cave in, excuse me. And it talks about how under this place, there was like a, a cave in in the cellar where they keep their mead like cold in the cellar. And if you go down there, there's actually a whole little story down there about how like a group of miners went down there looking for treasure. And then they find this like secret room and it drives them all crazy. So I just thought that was a little neat. I'd like to add a lot more quests like that. Like here, I'll show you the area. And I like doing stuff like this because to find certain quests like this, you actually have to look in everything. 
Because when I play Minecraft, yes, Minecraft is a sandbox game, but I like to play Minecraft as if it's an RPG, sort of like Skyrim. So I like to sort of handcraft my own quests, which is why I loved it when they added um, Book and Quill to the console editions, because then you could finally write your own quests and say that you've read that book and that'll tell you about a cave-in in the cellar, then you can walk down here in the cellar. But had you not walked up into the top of the cellar and read that book, you you might not have had any idea that there was even a cellar behind here. And even if you did, you could have still walked here and done the quest if you wanted to. But it's just that little bit of depth and detail that I like from like uh, games like Skyrim and just RPGs in general that I like to implement into adventure maps. Like we have the fermentation cellar here. Come down here and there's just like uh, barrels of mead. Mead tap here. And then here's the actual cave-in, like this part of the wall just caved in. And if you go in this cave here, it's like you find this um, this like creepy, eerie staircase here. And it's obviously old because there's moss stone everywhere. And then uh, uh, it's, I named it Delvin's Mine. And it's all blocked up because the miners like didn't want anybody to come in. But there's also a cave into the side of this blocked up area here. So you can come down here and kind of sneak into the actual mine here and you come down here and then you can see like where the miners actually were mining and uh, doing their work and I've got stories like in the chests um, hold on just a moment like in this chest here there's a book that tells the story of what happened uh, and it's like here I'll just kind of like open it you can see like these logs that one of the miners was writing about how slowly and slowly like, at first he hates being in the mine, and then, like, day by day goes on and they're just searching for treasure. Well, they find this, like, room, and it's kind of like a cursed room. They didn't really want to stumble upon it, they just came down here to mine. But eventually, everybody became, like, obsessed with the room, and they never wanted to leave. So, uh, as the log goes on, you can kind of see the progression of madness from uh, this miner in particular. So if you want to read that, I guess you can like pause it at certain parts of the video, but I'm not going to waste uh, as much time. I just, like I said, this is just a showcase. Like I didn't really want to spend a whole lot of time down here, but I thought it was a little interesting, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. And then here is the actual room. They tried to block it up, but it's like obviously been caved in here. It, I kind of like built it to look like it was kind of a sacrificial room, like they did sacrifices in here. And obviously these are like coffins behind these bars, uh, skull there. And then if you look in here, there's a little bit of treasure to find and spend at certain merchants and stuff. Because I, I, I've i decided to use emeralds as currency, obviously that's typically the Minecraft currency. I thought about going with gold, but then I kind of want to implement it to where not only could you buy certain things that I've put in like designated chests from vendors, but you could also just buy what they have in their typical stock if you really wanted to go about that way. So then we come up here. All right, and then just down this uh, bend over here a little ways, you can see I've got um, like a carriage here with a horse. And then this is another tavern, also it's an inn. I called it the Spruce Siren. Uh, I'll give you a little panorama of this building here. So as you can see, this building is fairly large. I kind of wanted to give it like that old, very large uh, medieval inn slash tavern feeling, I guess you could say. Um, so you come in here and there's just a, a dining area with fire pits here. Uh, your bar here with all the taps on the other side. And I actually haven't built any uh, furniture or anything up in the top level, but I do plan to do that soon. So then you come back out here give you another little brief view here and then we've got uh, the grain basket it's just a little bakery I kind of built this building and I thought it looked a little weird but I kind of also liked it it was small so I didn't really want to implement it to, to be something like a blacksmith because I felt like it would be too small to be a blacksmith so I kind of just um, thought about well hey people ate a lot of bread back then um, like bread was a staple food in medieval times so I figured why not just have a bakery so then you come in here and you've got like the grain and obviously like storage area here. 
you come in lots of uh there's your counter lots of uh ovens for baking and then you come through here uh, and this is would be this would be like where they actually lived so here you can see that i've got beds and bookshelves and stuff up here just for decoration All right, I actually missed the building back here. I apologize for that. Here we've got another building. It's called um, the Eye of Despor. It's a mystic building. Uh, people were really into like um, the supernatural and spiritual things um, like back then. So I figured um, that I would come over here and just show you the guys this mystic. So I figured I'd just put this here just for another building because this was supposed to be sort of like the shopping district, I guess you could say. And I figured this would be like a little, a cool little addition here. So you come in and it's got like seats, kind of like a church, and then your book, and this would be like where the teacher would sit, I guess. And then you come up here and I guess this would be where he sleeps, obviously. Little desk here. All right, so that's the mystic shop there. And we'll go back over here and finish this because there's only one more building over here. Uh, this is just uh, the Freeholders Lodge. It was just kind of a group I was going to put in every city where it's just kind of like this secret organization that seems like it's not really, like they don't get into any trouble. But if you actually read the books and lore in their lodges, you'll find out that there's a bit more of a, a sinister story to them. But uh, we'll go back around here. And uh, this area here, I would really like to mainly just have it be like houses, like this is like the living district uh, of the city. Like this would be where people would come to like spend their money and then everybody would live in this uh, general direction over here. As you can see here, I've got a, a mill, a grain mill, Alexander's mill. Uh, so nothing too special about that. Like he's got his house connected to it and then you come in here and it's just like, uh, like here's the granary. And this is all the grain for like making flour. So then you would come over here and I've just got like a, a couple of random houses. They're not really anything special, just like they're for just to be houses and uh, just kind of add a little bit more decoration to the actual town itself. So as you come in here, I do have them furnished. Uh, so here's the upstairs to this one. Come back downstairs. And then you would come in here, obviously furnished, as I said. There we go. And then there's a bridge here that goes over this little body of water here. I like that this whole city is sort of built around this, uh, this like, lake here. I thought that was really unique. That's why I chose this location. And then this here was originally going to be a blacksmith. But I kind of built it too big to be a blacksmith, I felt. So I ended up making it into a metal smith's guild. So this is where people would come to learn how to smith uh, different types of metal, like to be a blacksmith or to be a goldsmith or a silversmith. So you come in here, and this is like a training area. And then go inside, and there's just little workshops here. More workshops. So this would be like where smith apprentices as you can see here, would come to like live and train to be smiths. Give you a little brief view of this here. Alright, and then we come over here to the last thing. And this is obviously still a work in progress, but I plan for this to be the castle here. Uh, you come up here, and eventually I will, like, this is, uh, I'll fill all this dirt in and make it like an actual hill. But as you can see here, this is just going to be the wall around the castle. Like, I, I want to have a wall around the entire city, but then I also want to have a wall around this castle. So this is just the very start of the castle. So this, uh, this dirt platform is probably going to extend out very far, and this, uh, this way toward the sea, and then this way back a ways. And I'd like to get this jungle back here destroyed. I think I'm going to burn it down. Um, just because I, I think jungles are just ugly. And I don't like to look at them. And I, th I just feel like it looks kind of off balance and off place right next to a winter biome. So I'll probably get rid of that in the near future. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, make sure to leave in the comments below what you thought about this. Uh, if you have any... Um, 
suggestions as to what else I could build in here, just like feel free to let me know. 